Hi guys, it's Crypto Rocco from Rockstar Trading Channel. In this video, guys, I'll share with you everything that you need to know about Pegaxi's latest update. If you're invested in this game or you're looking to buy Pegaxi, make sure you watch the video till the end. I'll share with you what the changes are, and more importantly, I'll talk about how these changes is going to affect the price of Pega and the price of Viz. So make sure you watch the video till the end because i'll also share with you an important analysis that you can use in any trading forex crypto which is demand and supply i'll look at the viz mint and burn ratio and share with you exactly how it affected the price i'll also talk about how i sold as well so i talked about buying pegaxi when it was breaking out here although this is a play to earn game you breed it's really important to still use technical analysis and trading strategies we got into pegaxi around here when it was breaking out i myself got in here a few members in the group got in really early and they doubled triple their investments for me i got in here i needed the price of pegaxi to stay going sideways for another a week or two weeks and unfortunately started breaking down when it started breaking down i started selling and around about here i completely exited and i shared my again I'd, i'll be completely transparent i'll share with you all my thoughts in my mint date this is when i sold all my as you can see claim is in three hours i'm selling and look to buy again when there's trend change unfortunately we have not seen that trend change and i'm still waiting for an indicator where the price trend changes and the mint and burn ratio it gets better there's no there's better users as well so this is the historical data we can see the activity the users were going up when the price was pumping and this has been in a steady decline so some of these metrics i'll share with you if they start going up i'll look to buy back again so like i said make sure you watch the video till the end and if you have any questions on pegaxi breeding comment below guys i'll reply to all the comments before i get started into the video guys if you are interested in our technical analysis and trading strategies taking your trades to the next level i'll leave the links below guys i did a live stream yesterday shared with you a couple of trades like litecoin which is hitting target a few other coins has already hit target so if you are interested in learning about our strategies joining our group where i talk about my trades uh Pegaxi obviously and other coins that we're trading you get access to my trading strategy three to four live streams in the week in the group and also a lot of other members of the group sharing with you what they're doing so if you are interested in that I'll leave the links below there's a special offer to trial us for less than 30 bucks so you get 25 percent discount at the start of every month we get a special offer to get new members into our group so if you are interested i'll leave the links below first three members we get that discount so i'll leave the links below if you're interested so let's get back into the pegaxi video so pegaxi if you watched our previous video you already know what this game is about the prices of pegas were over a thousand two thousand dollars now the minimum price you can get one for less than 60 bucks and the reason for that is the viz price is down when the viz price was higher you'd be happy to pay a lot higher price for a pega because you'd earn that much by racing them if the price if you only you know less than a cent at the moment the price of viz you're not going to make that much that's why the price is dumped so much and the reasons why it was dumping is guys inflation of uh, viz that were minted if you come back and look at this price the minting of viz has been huge especially this consider in the past few weeks it, the, the mint ratio has been a lot lot higher than the burn ratio even now every day more being minted than burn if you look at back in the day you were having days where you were burning more than you're minting but when you have this huge difference there's too much supply of this and when the supply is high again my trading strategy is very simple i look at demand and supply when demand's high i look to buy or when the supply is reducing or ideally like luna when the demand is up and the supply is reducing that's when you get those parabolic moves so that is a metric that hasn't changed and what i'll do at the, at, at, in this video is i'll look at these key dates these huge mint dates and see how it affected the price and hopefully you can use this yourself uh, make sure you subscribe to the channel because i will post when i i get back into pegaxi so make sure you subscribe to the channel and if you enjoy this type of content hit hit that like button but i'll share with you how i do the analysis so you can use it for yourself so let's talk about the changes pegaxi has been making the most recent change the big change pegaxi tried to make was the cooldown time so they were flipping hoz and zan i covered in my previous video this hasn't helped so this has reduced the viz that is being minted but this has still hasn't made a dent in the amount of viz that is being burnt and the ver viz mint and burnt ratio hasn't changed they're bringing more changes we'll have to see if these changes have an impact on it now or even if this changes doesn't have an impact then i would stay away from this game unfortunately some of the changes that they're bringing is stats based racing and genetic breeding so from march 30th this is a huge change that they're bringing in that i'm assuming this change is going to allow less viz being minted so it will help the mint and burn ratio 
So that's the first update that they bring in, and that is March the 30th in a couple of days. There's a breeding event that's coming up. This there's, There was a Valentine's Day breeding event, and we saw huge burning of viz when that happened. This is happening again, and hopefully we're going to see some viz being burned, and we're already seeing the impact of that in the price. We've had a nice rally, but we need to see trend change, and I'll, I'll share with you my technical analysis and what I'd look for to get back in, but this, is have, this has already had an impact on the price already. The next, this is the big change, Pega burning mechanic, uh, mech, mech, can't seem to speak today, mechanics and Pega level up. I think this is what I'm more excited about because this will reduce the supply of Pegas. And if they can get this right, guys, the game can come back to life. I would love another rally in Pegaxi and, you know, the price of Pega goes up, the price of Viz go up. And hopefully you guys can make some money. And my biggest bet is on this. So finally, April the 14th, we'll be releasing the Pega burning mechanism plus Pega level up system where those extra Pegas from breeding event might come in handy. This is a big one. Be ready. Things are about to get crazy. So this is the big event I'm waiting to see. And what we'll have to see is how these changes affect the price of Viz. And, and this will be driven by the mint and burn ratio. So let's spend some time and explain to you how I use mint and burn ratio. The first date, um, let's start here actually. The big mint date was 15th of December. So let's go back and see what happened 15th of December. We can see 15th of December. What was this date by the way? I want to look at actually all the dates. So you can see that um, So first day was 30th of November. Oh, you don't have that much chart data. So the first big date was uh, 15th of uh, December when we saw a huge mint day, about 32 million. That was, and the reason why we see like a two week period is because the big players get in this game, uh, got in this game around this date, and every two weeks they have their mint day. So these are like gills and huge whales that are minting. And these are, these are the dates you have to be very wary of because these are the dates they are taking profit. It doesn't matter what me or you do, it's all about what the big players do. So 15th of December is this. And we can see the huge sell-off that we saw on 15th of December. So 15th of December was a date that was a big mint day. And we had a 44% sell-off on that date. Let's go and follow the next date. 30th of December was the next date. Let's have a look at 30th of December. Again, 30th of December, we had a, another sell-off on 30th of December. The next huge mint date is the 14th. 14th of January. Let's have a look at what happened 14th of January. 14th of January, the price actually went up. And when the price goes up, even after a big mint day, this shows you that, you know, something's going off. And this was literally the start of the huge move up. But even though we were having days where more, where more, uh, we, ha we had huge mint days, but look at on other days, you know, we, we we're having basically equal mint and burnt. Can you see that? So even if the price is going up, the burn and mint ratio is pretty similar. So 9 million, 10 million, more actually got burnt, more got burnt here as well. And these are the dates when we had that parabolic move up in this. The, the parabolic move up happened when there was more being burnt than minted every day here from, you know, from let's say from 6th of January to 12th of January. 14th or 13th of January, we can see these dates were huge big updates and these were the dates where you're you have you're burning more than you're minting. So this is a really important thing to look at. If you look at here as well, you're burning more than, more than the, you're minting. All these dates from uh, 19th of January to 28th of January, you're burning more than you're minting. And look at all this 19th of January of, of the huge price increase that we're seeing. And these one-off events where the big whales are taking profit, they're coincided by more burning and minting. And as long as we have more burn than mint, that is absolutely fine. So let's start looking at some of these more big mint dates again. So 29th of January was a big mint date. Where's 29th of January? This was 29th of January. We can see a big dip. And that's when we had that breakout. After that breakout, the next big mint date was here. This was uh, the Valentine's Day event, and this is started. This is when I started getting worried because we can see more is being burnt, and more is being minted than burnt. And this is when I started panicking. I was like, you know, before you are burning more than you're minting. Why are you minting more than you're burning? If you mint more than you burn, that means there's more supply, and if there's more supply than demand, the price goes up. Simple economics don't make trading very complicated. All the strategies that I teach about support resistance what, only thing that we try and find out is is there more demand than supply when there's a breakout you expect new traders to keep buying increase in demand you expect the price to go up 
So don't complicate it. Keep it very, very simple. So 13th of February, let's have a look at 13th of February. 13th, 13th of February was a huge sell-off day. And 13th of February, as you can see, this was the breakdown. And this is when I started getting worried about a 40% sell-off. And if you look at 13th of February, it is that big mint day. Since then, there was other mint days. 28th of February, what happened 28th of February? 28th of February was an, again another red candle day. We had we had a nice sell off leading up to it, and even on that day was a red candle. And I'm not just cherry picking. I'm happy. To, I'll do live streams. I'll do another live stream on next week on YouTube. So if you are interested, make sure you hit that like button and turn on the notification button. We can look at this live and answer you any of your questions and comment below as well. I'll try to reply to everyone that comments below. So 15th of March is another significant mint day and this is really bad. This is when Viz has been absolutely slaughtered. So 15th of March, if we find out 15th of March, again a huge sell-off day, just a red candle and all these dates for if you look at from 10th of March to 18th of March, look at 10th of March to 18th of March these are huge huge mint days and ever since then you're minting more than you're burning and until as long as this carries on I don't see the price of this going up so that's just a quick analysis of how I look at the markets to make decisions on whether to buy a project or not and you can do that for Axie Infinity SLP and all the other play to end game models and, and also you can do it on cryptocurrencies as well when there's more demand or more supply like big unlock dates so there's some key secrets that i'm sharing with you from the rocks to trading group so that is one of the metrics i'll be looking for that is the most important metric the other metric i'll be looking for historical value is the new users going up at the moment as you can see the new users are going down the volume is down transaction value is down i want to see a nice trend up in all of these metric excuse me guys I want to see a big move up in all of these metrics um, if we see a big move up in all of these metrics we see more being burnt than minted or at least equal 50 50 and we see the price of viz trend changing that is my buy trade now that is when i'd look to buy more viz so that's the you know analysis the news update hopefully that makes sense if you have any questions guys comment below but i really hope that these changes does uh, come and it's such a good game and there's going to be lots of cool stuff coming up so i really hope that you know peg Axie the team can turn it around it's a really active team you can check check their discord out really good team i really hope that these changes does help the burn mint ratio and we can start getting some hype and potentially a next rally up so those are the metrics i'm going to use to buy more peg Axie. now let's do some technical analysis i'll do pgx first and i'll do viz so one of the first things i teach in technical analysis if you have watched my videos is what i call a floor break and unfortunately viz is is you know already broken floor and pgx is trying to break its floor pgx is below this low and as long as it's below this low i don't want to buy it i want to see something like this unless we can start see something like this i'm going to stay away from this game so the key breakout level if i have to share with you is 27 to 30 cent i need pgx token above that level unless it gets back above that level i'm staying away and you know i can give you hundreds of examples i'll share with you a forex example uh, that i'm trading this week in the group it's not here let me go back and find it is the euro aussie trade i've taken and this is broken floor and once it breaks floor it has been in a downtrend and this is not as an extreme example you know other extreme examples i can share with you is potentially litecoin btc that could happen and again i'm a massive fan of litecoin it's a project that i've been involved with from, from a fundamental point of view but if litecoin btc uh, starts breaking down below it's not what something that i would like uh, bitcoin cash is an example a uh, bitcoin cash btc if you look at this chart once it breaks its floor you can see the big breaks down and unless it's one of the first things I teach now I'm not going to share with you that join my group you'll be a millionaire but what I want you to guys to learn is protect your wealth and if you can protect your wealth when we do get those crazy altcoin rallies that's when you can make life-changing money but for now the most important thing is protect your wealth and not lose as much money so let's do this technical analysis price prediction and then I'll share with you my long-term thoughts on the project then I'll round up the video so looking at Viz guys, Viz is breaking or already broken floor. My Viz broke floor price was around 10 at 1 cent and I didn't re I really wanted Viz to hold 1 cent. I even shared a couple of buy signals. I wanted some chop, some accumulation similar to what we saw and they break out above, you know, 3 4 cents and I'd, I'd get get on board. Now Viz is below this purple zone 
as long as it's below this purple zone i can't get too excited about viz and it gun to my head if you ask me where the price of viz goes i'd have to say unfortunately it keeps going lower what i would like to see is you know even short time frame if i see something like this above one cent i'll buy that i think you can easily get like a two three x move up in peg Axi, but this is just short term so that is something i'll be watching so leading up to all these events i actually predict this happening so i i expect peg Axi price to go up around two and a half cent three cent but then we'll have to see if it can be sustainable if it can put in lower highs and trend change like we saw earlier if it can't and it starts breaking down again please don't hold it and i like the project more than anyone but we don't want to get married to projects we want to think about you know strategically have a strategy in place and once it triggers your strategy you don't want to you know get hold a project just because of hope because hope and fomo are the two biggest things we lose money on people see prices going up they fomo in and when things are down they hope that it's going to come back and they keep seeing the prices going down one of the best skills of my is being able to cut my losers you've seen me cut my loser in pegaxi some trades i get right and it make lots of money like luna but there's other trades i get wrong and the really important thing is being able to cut your losses uh, cut your losses early so you can protect your wealth and make those crazy gains when we do have parabolic moves up so that's my short time frame prediction on pegaxi and if we see this we'll see probably you know three four x of the prices of these uh, pegas as well and depending on this as well if the burning mechanisms are really good and the price could go up even higher so that's my thoughts on the project guys long term a lot depends on this and if they can succeed change change trend on this change the burn and mint ratios then i'm bullish on this project if not i think the game could probably go sideways or we see further price drops so that's the video guys hope you guys enjoyed it before i end the video what is your thoughts on pegaxi comment below your thoughts do you think it's bullish do you think we're going to see a rally because of this news comment below your price prediction so thank you very much smash that like button subscribe to the channel if you are interested in the rockstar trading group that special offer i'll leave the links below if not guys thank you very much for watching just hit that like button it doesn't cost you anything and it really helps us out so thank you very much smash that like button subscribe to the channel and i'll see you guys soon with another great video thank you very much